So there's no pre-recorded sounds, there's no samples going on here. Everything that's happening is happening in real time. So his sound is being uh, sent, the signal is being sent from the saxophone into the computer. The computer is processing that sound, applying lots of different kinds of effects, and then spitting it out in real time. Basically, Randy has a, um, a small score giving him some indications for pitches, and the computer will be listening for those pitches at certain moments in the piece. Um, and so, in that respect, um, Randy really has control about how the piece can progress. So when he wants to move on to the next section, he plays a certain note, and the computer will hear that note, and that will trigger the next effect or sound that we hear. Um, the idea was this was to be a simple setup that Randy can eventually take somewhere on his own. This is all my equipment. Um, basically, what we need to run the piece is a computer, some kind of interface, a couple speakers, and a microphone. And so we don't need any kind of hardware. We don't need uh, a lot of interfaces. Um, we're using this pedal tonight or today just to trigger uh, this. The piece is in three sections. There's three little improvs, and so <laughs> all he has to do is hit one, two, and three on the on the on the simple hook controller. Um, we could have forgone forgone that and actually kind of just click something on the computer screen. So uh, the idea is that it's supposed to be portable and he can take it with him wherever he goes to play. Uh, I've known Randy since uh, 19. 96. Uh, so I've gotten to know him and his improvising very well, so I wanted to write something that would uh, give him the flexibility to do what he does well and be able to interact uh, well with the computer.